Hello Sagittarius, it's another general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Sagittarius strongly in their chart, but please understand that this reading will not resonate with everyone. Um, we are all different ages, we're all moving through different types of experiences, and we're all living all around the world. Um, so there is no way that all Sagittarius people are in the same place in their lives, living the same, the same life template. That's just from my perspective, um, not, a, not possible. Um, so let's go ahead and look for this group of Sagittarius people. Um, what is here for you in the current energy and what is coming in for you or what you are stepping into, um, in the next uh, incoming energy in the next seven to 10 days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, the next immediate energy wave. Uh, my beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space just as you are in this moment. I'm happy you're here and excited to um, get going on this story for you. So let's see. What is the current energy? What is the current energy for this group of Sagittarius people? What is the current energy? What is the current energy for this group of Sagittarius people? What is the current energy, please? What is the current energy, please, for this group of Sagittarius people? What is the current energy? All right. What will Sagittarius be stepping into in the incoming future? What will Sagittarius be stepping into? Man, a lot of flippers. Will Sagittarius be stepping into? Will Sagittarius be stepping into? Guidance for Sagittarius. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Guidance for Sagittarius. Just a lot of, I mean, this energy that I get, Sagittarius, I don't think you're messing around. I really don't. Let's get started. I'm in this very direct energy. It's very direct. It's very direct energy. Five of Swords, Strength Energy, Magician, and the Page of Cups. So currently um, you are dealing with some sort of, I feel like it is... It's like there's something trying to come in. There's something that you're trying to bring in, but there's either a person or a situation that's stopping it. You're doing the work. You're putting the work in. You've had some sort of new inspiration or new introduction to someone or new inspiration about something. Um, the consequence or the result of this new inspiration or new introduction um, warms your heart. It inspires you. It warms your heart. It brings love into your experience in some way. doesn't have to be romantic love, um, but it is some sort of love energy, a warm energy that fills your heart. could be something that someone says, an offer that someone gives. It could be your intuitive senses coming alive here. Something is coming in that's warming your heart um, you're trying to find your way here. You're trying to find your way. You're, you're putting the work in. You're, you're being courageous. You're courageously stepping forward here. Keeping this in control. You're not getting out of control with this. Whatever it is that you're trying to build, you're trying to manufacture, you're trying to bring into fru fruition, but there's a block. There's a block and it's freaking frustrating. It's really frustrating. There's a block. There's some sort of a block. Oh man, it's it it can it it can really push your one last button. It can it can really put bring you to the brink of um 
losing your cool here. Um, or you're, you, you could be tempted here to say something um, that really isn't helpful or to do something that really isn't helpful. You, you're working to bring in something new. There is some sort of inspiration that's happening within you because of some sort of new energy of inspiration or love um, or a new introduction. This could be some kind of message that's coming towards you, like an offer of something or um, somebody offering to help you with something or a new introduction that you, whatever you're trying to manufacture here. If you're trying to bring in a love relationship or you're trying to start a business or you're trying to finish a product or a product project or start a project or work on something, develop something that's just in the initial stages, but there's a block here. Four of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to hold on to this Eight of Swords. Damn. <sighs> Four of Cups. Look at all this stopped energy. Knight of Wands. Okay. So it's like you're pushing against. You're pushing against either you have a situation at work that you're trying to do something different. Okay, let me just, this could be a love relationship because we have a love message coming in or some inspirational energy coming in. But let me go with this first situation that came to mind. This could be a work situation where you're trying to do something different, but the people around you are um, not willing to let go of something, an old way of doing something, an old thought pattern, an old system. They're wanting to hold on to something that's been stable in the past, but doesn't allow for anything abundant to come in. It, it might be stable, but it certainly doesn't open the door for anything successful or anything bigger or anything different. Um, we have the Eight of Swords. So this talks about people that are in a cycle, a cycle of thinking um, that they have no power, that they have no will, that they have no way of getting themselves out of this situation. You could be working with a person or a group of people that are just a bunch of negative um, and negative thinkers. They could be not understanding their own power, their own will, their own um passion within them. We have the four of cups. So this is also an energy of apathy, of discontentedness, um, unwillingness to make movements, unwillingness to choose, unwillingness to do anything different. This energy is just, if this is a person, I mean, I can see why the strength energy is there. I honestly can see why I'm just, I am wiggling in my chair. I'm going back. It's like, I just it's like the, when you grit your teeth and just keep from saying something or it's, it's just, you're having to really hold, here's that knight of wands energy. This is the energy that I'm feeling. You're just wanting, wanting to charge in here and say, let me go. Let me try it. Um, don't be so scared. What are you trying to hold on to? What's so great about what we have now? This needs to be given a chance. We're never going to get anywhere if we don't try something different. It's this energy. Oh, this is you, Knight of Wands. Okay. This is the energy that you're in and you're hitting this brick wall and you're trying to build something, but you're hitting this brick wall either within yourself or within another person or with another person or with a group or a community. Maybe there's some kind of a problem that you're trying to solve here with Magician. But when people are unwilling to think differently, to think a different perspectives, to take time, to allow different alternative ways of, of consideration to come in, there really is a lack of movement. Four energies are, are, the four energies do not move, okay? The four energies do not move, and the Eight of Swords certainly doesn't move. So I'm not going to stay here. I'm not going to keep circling around because I'll circle around. You know me. I'll circle around in this all day long. It's not good. So here you are charging up against this with the Knight of Wands energy, wanting to fix it, wanting to solve it, but having this block here. I'm going to take these cards away. They don't need to be here at all. They make me mad. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but I can feel these energies. And it's just, in fact, I'm turning it over. I'm turning it over. I'm going to turn a blind eye right now because otherwise I'm going to stay in that energy. Let me um, look at what this page of cups is. My face is red. It's, it's really, the strength energy is really having to tame that beast within. 
that beast that maybe is not doing so well within me, like my own beast is wanting to like reach out and stomp on this wall. <laughs> I'm telling you, this energy is just so, oh, it's really got you going. It's really got you. You're either pissed off. You're either frustrated. You are um, barely can contain. It's that energy. You can barely contain this, but you are, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing good. Now we have this page of cups. Tell me more about this page of cups. Tell me more about this page of cups. The fool. Something new coming in. Something new. Something new. You have something new here. Damn these people. Hermit, you've learned something new. You, you have been working on this for a while. You've been thinking about this for a while. There's a new person coming in or a new idea that you have or something new that you want to do. And there's somebody sitting here that is so stubborn, is so worried, is so scared, is so against this for some reason. Um, and, and there is wisdom behind what this is. Whether this is a Virgo coming in, offering something new, or this is you in a very enlightened way or coming in after thinking about something very deeply, analyzing something, going deeply into a situation seeing what everyone's rules are, seeing what your rule is and what other people's rules are and coming up with some sort of new way of walking, coming out with some kind of new idea here that just inspires you. It's, it's something that inspires you. This almost makes you sick. It's almost sickening. It almost, <sighs> okay, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. You guys get it. All right. What's happening in the near future? What's happening in the near future? The next incoming wave of energy. What's happening? Sorry, guys. I can get carried away in those energies. Now I feel like it's overly dramatic. <laughs> I was overly dramatic. I can't help it when I have those energies and I go in them. It's just what I do. Sorry, guys. <sighs> I'm tired now. <laughs> I need a drink or something. Oh my gosh. All right. So as you move into the next immediate future, it does look like um, you're able to kind of come in from some sort of battle that you've been fighting and, um, find some rest here. You, you're, you're coming to some kind of end here to a situation where you have been controlled. You have been a puppet for someone else. You have not had your own, um, ability here to create your own pathway for some reason. Um, you're, you're, you're ending a situation and you're coming in out of some kind of, of a battle. The three of the four of swords comes after the three of swords. So there's some kind of pain here that you've been in and, um, the 10 of wands is here. So it talks about an end. Um, we have the 10 of wands and the ace of wands here. So there's an ending here for you. So in the next, and, and maybe this isn't the next seven to 10 days. Maybe it isn't even the next couple of weeks. Maybe it's in the next couple of months. It just depends on what the situation is for you. Um, it does look like you come to an end of a, of a journey here with the 10 of wands. So, you know, this load that you've been carrying or this weight that you've been on the, 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 the journey that you've been on here where you haven't been able to really create your own destiny or um, be in control of your own life in some way. You've been really carrying the weight of others, carrying the load of others, feeling quite alone in this journey. Um, that's changing because you have a new beautiful beginning coming in for you. And I think there there is a new company here or a new relationship or it could be a Taurus. What are the other signs? Um, Virgo. Could be... Virgo Taurus, um, Capricorn could be Taurus, could be Libra. It doesn't have to be any of those signs. That's just what I see here just easily. Um, but there is definitely a, a new beginning here that I see coming in for you. 
I, I feel like the story might be deeper and more complicated than this, but um, I, I think in a way this is giving you some kind of delicious new information that can help you as you move forward um, because we do see a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles is a new job, um, a bonus coming in, new improved finances, a new home or a new, could even be a new relationship. Um, if it's a new relationship, it does change your finances or it does change where you live. It changes something in a real life. It's not just a love that comes in. It changes something. It changes something with materialism. It changes something where you live or how much money you make or your bank accounts or something. So if it's a relationship, it's, it's a significant relationship where you actually move homes, for, for example, or you change something about your actual experiences with the material goods or material assets. Um, the higher font is over the top of the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So you could be um, finding a, a new place here. Um, if this is a job or a work experience, you could be finding um, a new job in, in a large company. Now, the higher font energy is the energy of external faith and trust. So it's religious groups, spiritualism. It is um, large groups of people that walk in the same direction with the same mindset and the same goal. So it could even be like a large corporation that have... Um, that has a, a, a very strong mindset um, for success and, and is led by a small certain group of people. Um, there could even be a new contract that you're receiving or a new agreement that you're signing because the Hierophant talks about how we structure society, how we control society, how we become efficient within society, um, how we kind of steer everybody. If we think about the Hierophant, sometimes I think about it in like a road system where you have um, lanes of traffic going the same direction on one side of the road and the other side of ro the road is lanes of traffic going in the other direction. If everyone just went wherever they wanted to and didn't obey traffic laws, um, we could get um, quite a mess on the street. So that's the higher font for me. It's like the structure of society. Um, and so there is something here that is, there could be an engagement here, there could be a, a marriage here, but but I mean... It's an it's a new a new improved financial picture, but you're also taking new action, some new actions that you're taking. So you're able to unload a whole lot of stuff here from your shoulders as you move into this new reality, and you begin again fresh here with brand new a brand new way of of of, of moving, new things that you're doing during the day, new actions that you're taking, new steps that you're taking here. And it does revolve around this group, this mass group of people, um, or even um, a community and your way of being seen within that community. Um, it could be a contract, an agreement, um, some kind of new familial structure. Um, it could be a, going back to school at a university. University can be kind of classified under the higher font. Whatever this is, it's something here that you're moving into that absolutely changes your life. It not only changes your money situation and your home situation, but it changes the activities that you do during the day. This is something that you're moving forward in that's, that is creating long-term change in your life. So it could be slow movement here. It could, um, it could be something that comes in, um, well, the, re the new reality comes in first. So, if this is a new job or this is a new relationship that comes in, it looks like you're going to continue to work on this. Whether this is a job, a new relationship, a new home, whatever it is, new new income, maybe it's a new business that you're starting, you're going to be working on this for a while. It's, it's going to move forward in a slow but stable way. Um, I don't think you're in this in any kind of temporary way. You You really want to see significant change in your world and you're willing to put in um, the kind of effort that it takes to build something that will be long lasting, long term, will create a legacy um, for your family or for your life, will create healthy bank accounts, um, a stable foundation, a large emergency fund. You will. It, it's a kind of movement that brings in security and stability in your life so that in the middle of the night, you're not waking up worried about how you're going to pay this bill or how you're going to accomplish this task. 
Um, it's you're going to be moving in a direction where you're not continually in survival mode with money, really with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, if this is a relationship, it is moving in a very slow and careful way with the mindset of a long-term relationship. Um, so this, this person that if this is a person, this person is not interested in just playing around. This is a person that is interested in um, slow, stable growth towards a long-term abundant future. Now, I just felt like as I got to these energies, I just took a breath, didn't I? It's like, oops, I hope you, sometimes you, my stomach makes noises. I sit in front of the microphone an awful lot and I always wonder like, what all can you hear with that stomach noise? <laughs> I shouldn't even spring it up. You probably can't hear it at all. It's just embarrassing. All right. So I just feel like this is a pause now. I'm in sort of a pause energy. Um, where you're starting to recognize here how your life is becoming much more fair, is becoming much more equitable, equitable because of the decisions that you're making as you move forward. The decisions that you're making for your own behalf, on your own behalf, where you are starting to realize or you are realizing or you have realized the value of making decisions that are in your own best interest and um, putting yourself first. Um, and, and really making decisions that will help you in the long run. Um, because like I say, in a lot of readings, no one is going to pay your bills except for you. No one is going to build your bank account except for you, right? When it comes to at the end of the day, um, some things in life, they are done by, by the individual. And I, I think this is a, a, um, a, an energy here of really taking in now stock of the victories that you have seen coming in for yourself and really taking some time here to ex enjoy the victory of that, enjoy the celebration of that, enjoy how far you've come. Um, there is a reunion here. There is a union here that is going to bring a lot of happiness, a lot of celebration. It is equal. It is about equality. It's about equal give and take. It's about making um, very wise and insightful and careful decisions about your future um, and making sure that the balance in your life is fair, is attainable for you to find the abundance and the comfort that you're looking for in your life and is bringing in um, experiences and adventures that fulfill you, um, bring in money for you, and also provide adventure and excitement and passion and really a beautiful human experience. So you're, you're moving here from this blockage that you've been in. I feel like you could even be leaving it. You could be leaving it. You could be totally changing direction. You could be understanding what the blockage is and working through it. But somehow you're escaping whatever this blockage is, you're escaping it. You're, you're creating something new here. You're putting hard work in. You are, you are co-creating with your spiritual team. This is taking action. This is not sitting back and waiting for it. We, we don't just create by imagining it. We can't just imagine. We can't just raise our, our frequency. From my perspective, and I have completely changed my life. I really and honestly have. And in my experiences, I, I can honestly say in, in my own experiences that you do not create change in your life by, cre by putting yourself in a high vibration and sitting back and waiting for the vortex to reach you. There is action that needs to be taken. There is choices that need to be made. It is part of the transformation process. And for this group of, of Sagittarius people, you are absolutely in that groove. You're absolutely in that groove. So whatever you're doing here, however you're coming out of this battle, you might be saying, you know what? I don't need to fight this battle. This is not my battle. This is not worth it for me. I'm going to drop everything that's on my shoulders and, and move over to this other track. I'm going to move into this other lane. Um, I need to be working with a team that is going to be abundant, that is going to be um, forward thinking. 
I need to be with a person that's going to be abundant and forward thinking, whatever this is for you, you're absolutely starting um, joining a new community or joining a new relationship or doing something here, this group of you. And it's something that's going to bring in um, a long-term stable future for you. It's beautiful. So I, for many of you, I don't necessarily think that this is just seven to 10 days. I, I honestly, there's too much happening. There is just too much happening here. If this is all happening in the next seven to 10 days, well, that is a whirlwind situation. But I see the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles here and none of, and these energies do not move quickly. So that's what I mean. I think that for some of you, this could even be over a couple of months time here. These are not fast moving energies. The Ace of Pentacles is not a fast moving energy either. Ace of Wands can be fast moving, but look, the Ace of Pentacles comes first. All right, let's see what the guidance is here for you. Let's see what the guidance is. What is the guidance? What is the guidance? Two of Cups, huh. Seven of Cups, Three of Wands, and Three of Swords in the reverse. So we have two of cups, seven of cups, three of wands, and three of swords in the reverse. So there's a new partnership here. There's a new partnership. Either it's with a new company, with a new person, with a new business partner, with a new neighbor, but there's a new partnership. It's a soul connection. It's something that is... Um, satisfying, is familiar, it has a lot of potential, it is with a soul energy, a heart energy, something that is, it's, it feels like it could be meant to be. With the Seven of Cups, it's an energy of um, options, of dreaming, of trying to keep grounded. You could have a lot of different options and ideas. Remember the Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands comes after the Ace of Pentacles. So you might be deciding, okay, now that you have this new job or now that you have this new relationship or now that you have this new business, in which direction are you going to take it? How are you going to implement it? Um, you could have some um, insecurities or worries or um, hardship around making decisions on how exactly you're going to carry this out. But ultimately, the guidance here is that um, with the Seven of Cups, I, I feel in the guidance here, it is to really, um, if you if you come up with an option, to really live in that option, to live in that option, to put your energy in that option, and really think about, okay, if I take it this route, what are the most abundant ways this route can go and what are some of the worst things that could happen with this route and really kind of imagine imagine it to take hold and imagine how it will go into the future imagine the best case the best case scenario imagine a middle of the road scenario and imagine a worst case scenario and for every kind of decision that you have to make or every kind of option that's there really kind of live in that with your energy um, again, live the best case scenario, the middle of the road and the worst case and see what feels best, which way, well, the worst thing that could happen is this, but the best thing that could happen would be this, you know, and kind of just really don't, don't hesitate to really put your energy and spend some time and really contemplate, um, what the different energies are, what the different options are. Um, it will help you to find um, a, a most appropriate and most effective route forward. And it will allow you to really um, be very discerning when it comes to deciding how, how to walk forward in this. Ultimately, the Three of Wands is here. So this is a very optimistic energy um, that there is a new, beautiful and passionate beginnings coming towards you. This is something that is already on its way with the Three of Wands. Uh, the threes energies are something that is already materialized and that are working to manifest more of. So something is already materialized here. Something is on its way to you. There's, there is guidance here to be optimistic, to um, be forward thinking, to stay in a very positive energy, to continue to manifest in a 
way that is helpful to um, whatever you're trying to build. So if you're focusing on the abundant natures, if you're focusing in a positive way, um, it's going to be more helpful than if you focus, if you can constantly worry about what the failures can be. So it's important here to stay optimistic and enthusiastic about this project. And we also have the three of swords in reverse. So this is um, talking about some sort of um, ending to a period of pain, a period of anguish, a period of, um, of just, uh, it's like a stopping energy. It's a stop energy. It's a painful energy. Um, almost like a picture. Sorry, I've just got the picture put in my head of somebody stepping on your foot. And as they get off your foot, they twist their heel as they get off. That's the kind of energy that has just been given to me. So maybe that makes sense for you. I'm not sure. All right. Um, all right, Sagittarius. Um, I am going to move to, I'm going to take a quick break and then move to the extended. And in the extended, I'll dig deeper into some of these energies. Um, let me see which energies I'm going to dig deeper into here. Definitely the fool energy. I'm going to dig deeper into this fool energy here and this page of cups energy, this new, whatever this is that you have this idea or something here. Um, I'm going to definitely dig into the two of cups energy. Man, we have these aces. Okay, so I'm going to dig into the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So in the extended, I'm going to dig deeper into the Page of Cups, the Fool energy, this new person or this new opportunity, this new reality, these new actions you're taking, and this new partnership that are that's here. So these are energies I'm going to look at, and then I'll look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are as they, as, as this all moves down the road. So that's what the extended will hold. If um, you're happy with this reading, that makes me happy too. Um, if you would like more information, feel free to move to the extended. The link for that is below. Um, my beautiful Sagittarius people, it is always a pleasure to read for you. I love getting into your energy, and I really congratulate you on all the big steps you're taking for this group of people. Um, it is very commendable and exciting, and I wish you the best, the best of luck, my friends. All right, thank you.